did that quiz. <laughs> Dude, as soon as I did that move and press circle, I, I saved the clip. <laughs> Lee, don't lie, I was fire. <laughs> or can you run out of nowhere, Lee? Both men entered this match with title waves and momentum, which set them on a total eclipse. I totally got that RK out of nowhere, Tate. <laughs> 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 That's why I love way. Randy Orton. He does his move anywhere at time. Ow. Reversing it. Incredible. Wow. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. You want the back pain? Take the back pain. Nobody home? Oh, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Tell us about Barrett. Well, on the topic of Randy Orton here, tell that us was hysterical. We bumped heads. I was like, what are you doing, Leek? One on one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor. That's for sure. No gimmicks here. Just some good old fashioned one on one action. <laughs> no. Definitely looking confident in this one on one environment. That's a good sign. Keep you asleep. But when you start Getting back you into the ring now. Nice. Okay, you can take a breath. <gasps> No, Lee. Oh the damn! Different type of focus. This man Lee said, "Oh, you got me heart attack." Like okay. Oh. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. A rivalry that I think helped Randy Orton. But when he starts getting broken, was his journey in the Death Valley versus the Undertaker. Remember that? Oh, of course. Orton proved to be one of the Dead Man's greatest adversaries, and to this day, the Vipers match versus the Phenom at WrestleMania 21 is regarded as one of the best in the street. And broken. <laughs> With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. And now it's Randy Orton with momentum. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Jerry, you touched on the incredible rivalry between Randy Orton and The Undertaker. And I have to say, as somebody who was in the broadcast position for so many of their face-offs on SmackDown and called their showdown the 21st showcase of the Immortals, Orton versus Undertaker was one of the gravest challenges to the life of the streak ever. Michael, before you describe what it was like calling the war between Undertaker and Randy Orton, I remember a chill going through the entire Staples Center at WrestleMania 21. Randy Orton versus Undertaker is certainly one of the best rivalries I've ever seen. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. At least like what you do it. Great one on one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. The Apex Predator has experience in making history. In October 2007, Orton became WWE Champion for the first time at the No Mercy pay-per-view. It began when Mr. McMahon awarded Orton the championship. Then the Viper defeated a familiar figure throughout his career in his first title defense, his former mentor, the game, Triple H. Yeah, you know, Cole, Randy Orton seems to make history wherever he goes. That match at No Mercy versus Triple H was a last man standing what match. And it was the first match of the pay-per-view. Oh, God. You talk about starting off a WWE event with a bang. Okay. <laughs> Someone really should check out. I mean, a maneuver like that takes your career and it just flashes it before your very eyes. Yeah, that wouldn't be a very long flash for you, Cole, but this guy's in trouble. Okay. Orton's victory at No Mercy showed us exactly what type of WWE he champion was, he was going to be. Okay. From day one, Orton's been a big-time player. No, and when he defeated his mentor, Triple H, in a last man standing match, it sent a message. It sent a message That's to the week. entire WWE <laughs> that the Viper was going to have that championship for a long time. Okay. What a move from Randy Orton. That's how you impress the WWE <laughs> the Universe. Voices. Try it. Come on. Sing with me. <laughs> You're watching SummerSlam, truly one of the most historic events in the history of sports entertainment. Michael, you talked about Randy Orton and his making history at No Mercy 2007. He had a no! six-month reign as champion, and as we all know, it would 
not be his last time wearing the WWE Cody. Championship around his waist. I think Randy feels the WWE Championship should be his by yes, default he until he decides that he doesn't want it anymore. I hear voices crying. Man, Baron, I hear people dying. <laughs> the RKO. That should do it.